Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I think the same person that asked me how I drew the compass, and I stated in the video I would make them look a little bit better. So I've made them look a little bit better. This shape versus this shape, which is just plain Jane, and I would have done this if I was doing it for myself. But they asked how, what I meant by I would make them look better. And you're just giving them a little bit of shape. And this is, uh, it's pretty easy to do and it's a little bit fun. So going back to the drawing in the center of the page, I'm going to draw my first ball, hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to make a duplicate of that ball, control D, and I'm going to slope it in, bring it a little smaller. I'm going to control P just to see what it looks like. That looks pretty good. Holding down the control button, I'm going to move it to about there. Now I'm going to take an oval shape. And you've got to always remember this is your drawing, so you can make it look any way you want. And I'm going to put that first oval about right there. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that oval. And I'm going to put that other oval about there. Now, there's a number of ways to do this, but I'm going to group this together. Control G. And then I'm going to control D and I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And I'm going to mirror it. Now, for some reason, Corel jumps it over there. That's fine. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see what our nudge distance is. Let's put it on one inch. Let's move this out of the way for a second. Let's move this out of the way for one second. And let's lock these two items. Go to arrange and lock. Now, I'm going to put them in the center of the page, but I can't because they're locked. So I'm going to go P and put this in the center of the page. And I'm going to cursor down and just kind of move it to where I want it. And then I'm going to grab the other one and I'm going to hit P. And I'm going to cursor and really putting P didn't really help. Didn't really change anything. But what I'm going to do, you'll see in just a second, they're not equal. Well, we've got them locked. So I'm going to select them all and I'm going to hit B. And now they're more equal, but they're not maybe perfect, but they're the bottom is flat. I'm going to group them together, control G, and I'm going to put them in the center of the page. And now I'm going to cursor down and now everything will be equal. And I'm holding the, the uh, control key down while I'm doing this. And really, truly that doesn't look good. I'm going to mirror them. And for some reason, Corel's, uh, doing that because I want the top one up top. I'm holding down the control button. And that looks pretty good. That looks, it's equal. Now we need to grab this item and unlock all objects. Now take your virtual segment delete key and just start deleting these lines you do not need anymore. And just kind of think about your shape. You want the ball shape. There we have it. Take your two-point line and go from that node to that node. We need to cut one more line out. Now get your Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And there's you a new shape that's going to look a lot better. So just kind of play around with that. Just always remember to make things equal and group them and put them in the center of the page and down. And then they'll be equal on both sides. I truly hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.